Hello, so glad you could join me again today. It's a beautiful day here. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here is I think I'm going to do a moon, a nighttime ocean scene. Maybe some stars, a big wave crashing in. What I got going on here is a pre stretched canvas, 16 by 20. I painted the whole thing with a coat of black gesso. Then I covered all that with a thin coat of liquid clear, which will help the oils go on the canvas a lot easier, which is the wet on wet technique that I'm about to use. And any information and all the colors you'll need to paint along with me, if that's what you choose, will come across the screen right about here. Then what I did was I took painter's tape and made a straight line, measured it down to get a straight line for the horizon. What I thought I'd do is since I was going to put a moon in, I'd start out with the horizon and how it's got that light, real light color just before you get up into the darker colors. So, I got a lot of my paints already mixed up on my palette over here. So, I think we'll get started. I'm going to go into a fan brush. And, let's see, I'm going to start with some yellow, cadmium yellow, liquid white. Just like that. What we're going to do is we're going to tap it right along that edge. Right across that painter's tape. Grab some more. You'll see once we start pulling this up, right about what we want the, the moon to be, we're going to pull up that color right off that tape too. Right in here I want to make it lighter, whiter. Right in this area here. We can always blend it. Blend it up. Now, I'm going to take the blender brush. I'm going to come in and circular motions, start pulling it up. Kind of diffuses that sharp edge. Makes a lot of things happen right here. What I'm doing is circular motions. Just with the corner of the brush. Wipe off the excess, come back in, blend more of it, just go above that where I blended the first ones in, so you get a lot of textures. A lot of different layers. Come back in, get some more of the yellow and the white. Let's see, we're going to have the moon like right here. I really want to enhance this more. that whiter, that whiter in there. Circular motions. up. 
off some of the excess. Come in and just blend that in just a little bit. Go across. More white down here. Right along maybe. All I'm doing is tapping. More white right here. Come back into the blender brush. Circular motions. Pull up. Wipe off the excess. And slightly go across. Now, what I'm going to do is clean off this fan brush. And I use odorless paint thinner. I'm going to go into some gray now. Same thing, load it up just like that. I'm going to go into some grays in here. Kind of blend that in. Use the blender brush, circular motions. Bring that down where the yellow is. Do some more gray. I'm just scrubbing it in. where it goes away. In the palette knife, I mean the fan brush off again. I'm going to go into some, maybe of a orangey color. Go all the way across. Maybe right in here it might be a little bit higher. Clean off the blender brush, wipe off all that excess. Pull it up. All the way. And go across. 
crossed. more weight this is a process that sometimes takes a little while to get it just right in what you're looking for take your blender brush again wiping off the excess. Just slightly go across. Pull some of this up, I think. Kind of blend that in. Over here. Got that gray happening up there. white I think. I'm just tapping this. Right along the edge. to create that right look that I'm looking for. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some, put the moon in, a little bit of yellow, cadmium yellow, liquid white. Just like that on my finger. I'm just going to put a little, little dab. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is we'll take the fan brush, this little fan brush here, and come in and feather this out. Get that hazy look. from the middle. All the way. Grab 
some more. Let's have it right where we did. And do the same thing. Pull out. Pull out from the center. Lower process. Grab some more. Pull out. in a circular motion, kind of blend this in. Get that hazy look. into some more tapping it pulling out doing is tapping all the way around going out further and further you almost got that look just by tapping have some more paint Do the same thing. Just keep going in the circle. Some more.
brush here. Some color on it. more color. Just shaping the moon. Come back in here, pull some of this up. Go across. here and edge this. into the fan brush. I'm not real happy with this, so I'm going to start tapping this edge out.
I'm just tapping. Ow. Still using my finger. Still using my finger. white on there. Circular motion. like that. Could have come into some gray now. Do some clouds. Maybe it's one right here. Add some darker get to be darker. All I'm doing is tapping. Trying to create that illusion. clouds coming past the moon. You can tap or use circular motions, whatever you think is working for you. I'm kind of doing both. Clean the brush off now. I'm going to come in here and spread this out. That glare. Who knows? Take this. I'm going to take this and clean up this edge here on the moon.
come all the way down like that. Take this little this little fan brush here. Go into some yellows. Maybe highlight some of these. some of them. Come back in. Let's see what we'll do here. Take this brush here. I want to make it look 3D where the sun's hitting or the moon I mean. Be lighter on that corner and then further back it, it'll blend in. kind of round it off. Just a little, little here and a little there. Maybe up here, underneath here. Maybe underneath there, it's hitting. that edge sharp, closest to the sun. That really makes it look like it's really popping off there. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll make some stars. Take the back of the paintbrush, dab it with some liquid white, And just tap. Tap wherever you think. It's a starry night. Starry, starry. Maybe. Because 
sometimes they got the little things happening out there and okay I'm gonna take some more of the light colors and enhance this a little more a bit brighter Just like that. I think that that's good for that we're going to take the tape off but first I'm going to I think I'm going to put some distant distant seagulls in we use a little bit of gray some white Maybe one there. Off in the distance. Okay, let's take the tape off now. reveal our horizon or our sunset or our I'm going to load up this two inch brush with some more liquid white and we'll cover this down here or liquid clear because we're going to do the water line that's got to be on there otherwise your paint is going to grab to grab and you won't have that good effect that you're looking for okay got that going on I'm gonna come in the palette knife get some of that yellow color for the the moon little roll of paint and come down here and determine right about where we want it to be a reflection in the water <laughs> 